Imagine the smell of an extinct flower. Meet the Shirea cuspidata, a flowering tree in Borneo whose branches graze the sky at a magnificent 45 meters tall. The demand for palm uprooted these trees, and today it is believed to be extinct. Through the meticulous work of botanical scientists and herbariums, we are lucky to have a few preserved specimens to give us a glimpse into the history of these flowers. But what about their smell? If we were to transport ourselves back in time to walk through that forest, what fragrant air would we experience? There is something our eyes alone can't see inside each of these precious extinct relics, and that is a language, not one that is spoken, but one we only recently began to understand, the language of DNA. Scientists at Ginkgo Bioworks were lucky to get just the tiniest snip of each of these precious specimens and bring it to their labs to see if they could read this language through DNA sequencing so that this flower could tell us its story how big it was, what it was related to, and maybe in this case, even what fragrance molecules it produced. By reading and translating its DNA, scientists could then search to see which aroma chemicals made appearances in its story. And just because some molecules were mentioned doesn't mean that they were the main characters. The genes used to produce each of the molecules mentioned were put into brewer's yeast to see what they would actually make. And sure enough, the main fragrance characters started to emerge. And while this wouldn't tell us exactly the fragrance, this was the first glimpse into what the flowers might have smelled like. This work was done on several flowers presumed extinct from different parts of the world. The team at Ginkgo partnered with artists and museums to tell their stories of extinction, de-extinction, and the complex relationship between humans and the environment. I was captivated by this. I ended up joining the incredible team at Ginkgo in 2019 to see how different biotechnologies can be used to do things that we couldn't even imagine before. But for the world I come from, which is the beauty industry. In beauty, fragrance is known for its artistry and storytelling. I wondered if the stories encoded in these specimens could be the muse for a perfumer. I began Future Society with a vision of how to create another way for the story of this tall flowering tree to live on in our everyday, beyond the history books, herbariums, and museums. Ginkgo Bioworks gave us access to the sequencing data of the Shorea, along with five other flowers. We entwined the intelligence of those sequences along with the imagination of the world's best perfumers to give new life to these lost flowers. The perfumers we worked with had never seen a creative brief with sequencing data and biology as a starting point, yet they were all deeply inspired by their stories and in remarkably different ways. Because science can't yet tell us exactly what these flowers smelled like, this is actually an act of poetry rather than precision, with tools old and new. The perfumer's mastery of aroma chemicals and botany, combined with their creativity, led to a remarkable set of six fragrances that are unlike any that have been created before, and each with their own story to tell. The Shirea Cuspidata is reinvented as floating forest. It takes us back in time and imagines what it would have been like to walk amongst its tall flowering trees. It is green and meditative, reminding us that at any moment we can choose stillness, no matter how much the world shifts around us. The future may feel uncertain, but it is not yet determined. Future Society is a reminder that even though a door might have closed, that endless possibilities still exist to invent our tomorrow if we look. And as we wear these fragrances, may the stories of these flowers live on to remind us of our own capacity for reinvention.